Good morning, our top stories today. The mysterious return of the Stralinxes. Who was responsible? News from beyond the border, why Queen Rosalie is strengthening Matasuna's protective barrier. Good morning, I'm Barnabas Frey. And I'm Sarah Lewis. Our stories today. Matasuna was shot this morning at the news of the returning Stralinxes. The large cats native to Matasuna's Mendia Mountains National Park were abducted almost a month ago by a person or persons unknown. In the early hours of yesterday morning, Kadeska's Chief of Police, Inspector Katain, was called out by an anonymous phone call which claimed that a factory in East Kadeska had been raided and the Stralinxes found. When the Chief of Police arrived on the scene, he found the so-called raiders absent, but two men tied up among the broken cages that once contained the Stralinxes. The men later confessed that the Stralinxes were being used to make Stralamol, a drug used to cure several terminal conditions, including ALS. In an interview with Michael Reardon, head of the Mendia Mountains National Park, he confirmed that the Stralinxes had now been returned. They were severely malnourished and dehydrated, and some had not made the journey, but that most were expected to recover. Queen Rosalie has been under increasing pressure over the last six months to dissipate the mist that surrounds Matsuna. Many Matsunans have stressed the need for collaborative efforts to save a world that is increasingly at risk of global warming. The protesters have been pressing for Matsuna to contact like-minded countries and assist in their efforts to reduce global warming. However, Queen Rose Lee has confirmed in a press com- conference yesterday evening why this will not happen. As you know, the mist around our country has existed for over 400 years, the Queen began. The Traveller put it in place as a protection for our people. There have been many times that I and my father have considered lowering the banner. And due to public pressure, I have once again considered it. But the news I have received from beyond the border of our land makes this impossible. The Queen went on to explain that reports have spoken of a deadly virus known as coronavirus, which has swept across the globe, causing thousands of deaths. There has been a violent debate about these words. Many people question the Queen's judgment and empathy, but the Queen remains stoic in her beliefs. Matsunans will therefore simply have to pray that this pandemic ends quickly and with no more suffering. And now the weather. After the week of thunderstorms, the summer returns to a welcome warm spell, with temperatures reaching as high as 30 degrees Celsius, or slightly lower in Norte. The warm spell will continue on over the weekend, but will set around 25 degrees by the middle of next week. And that concludes today's news and weather.